Hey guys, old man Chris here, back in the shop for a little while. Mostly sitting, which is useful. <laughs> uh, it's blowing a gale outside. Decidedly nasty. But not as bad as some of you folks down in the south and southeast. Uh, another few days of horrific weather down there. I hope you're all coping. Anyway, this is uh, the first of two remaining reviews I want to get done. This is two inch face mill. Basically it's uh, an, an RA Darber and a like a shell end mill fitting. Four inserts and it comes with uh, eight or ten inserts so you've got plenty of inserts to use. So I've taken a cut on some scrap aluminum and I comment on that whilst I'm, or when I've done it and afterwards to give you my impressions. So I should be repeating myself a bit later but anyway for under 70 bucks it's really pretty good value. One or two odd points that uh, I referred to later and if you can accept the fact that it's got sort of slight uh, not problems but slight minor discrepancies it still represents I think pretty good value certainly if you're not concerned with ultimate perfection in which case you'd pay a lot more money so bottom line uh, it, it's it's useful and worth getting alright anyway have a look just the uh, quick cut and uh, some comments and uh, that'll do for this one and I'll get on to the uh, set of lathe tools next when I get an opportunity and see how they perform all right so bye for now see you soon I hope <laughs> right here's the uh, cutter I'll show some more detail on it after I've taken another pass I've done a couple of passes on this piece of scrap aluminum here some machining marks but it actually feels feels pretty good. I'm running it to about uh, 700 RPMs here Right. Well, that was only a tenth hour cut, but uh, it actually feels feels nice. Get some skin grease on there. <laughs> you can see some machining marks, but really, that's not bad at all. And uh, seeing as this is only a little old machine, uh, tenth hour is. Uh, Oh, listen to that. Oh my gosh. Oh, wild and windy. Holy smokes. Yeah, so it's a 10th hour cut. Uh, most people probably know I don't take huge cuts. Certainly not A-bam, A-bam, A-bomb size cuts. Uh, in fairness to the machine, and uh, just being patient. If I was on a piece of steel I'd reduce the revolutions but uh, still take fairly light cuts but uh, yeah that doesn't feel bad at all. So we'll have a look at the whole thing and discuss one or two factors so you get some idea as to my impression of it. Now observations. First off, bear in mind this whole unit, the arbor and the cutter head, a little bit under $70, which is incredibly inexpensive for what you're getting. Uh, by that token, I don't suppose I expect 
um, absolute perfection. You're not going to get something that's accurate to tenths, but it seems to run pretty true here. Um, I suspect the inserts are not looking at the cutting aluminum. You can see the evidence on the cutters and one cutter was cutting a little bit more than the others so we're probably not getting quite quite an even cut on all having said that the end result is certainly usable from my point of view and certainly adequate for what it costs the other main comment was the uh, female thread here for the drawbar doesn't appear to be quite, well no it isn't, <laughs> it isn't absolutely on centre and the thread was a bit messy, I had to run a tap down it to clean it up. Yeah that's not quite on centre which means the drawbar tightens up a bit more than I would like but there again it functions so there you are I'm not making it a long test I've got some lathe tools to review yet we'll do those soon I hope uh, you get um, how many was it eight or ten I forget now you get a box of inserts and these are reversible and they seem to be in quite nicely finished pockets but as I say I think there's a slight discrepancy either in uh, insert dimensions or the uh, or the pockets it's quite small and I have to keep coming back to the fact that what you're getting for your money which is very reasonable is really not bad at all if I could afford a lot, lot more money, I would have something uh, a bit better. But for my purposes, and that's a t that's a two-inch cutter, which is getting quite large for a small machine, so you wouldn't want to push it too hard. But uh, really, quite nicely finished. Just not into the category of tenths we're into the category of thousands. <laughs> very usable, very usable.